We've heard of your arrival, Lowlanders. Come, share my fire where we might speak. I am Svara Sunhair, Thane of Stone Bear Hold. You have guest welcome here. The Lowlanders have little love for your Dalish clans. I am impressed that you came to lead their Inquisition. You and your people have come far from the safety of the Lowlands. We have not come to cause trouble in your home, Thane. We have learned that the last Inquisitor may have died here hundreds of years ago. We seek his body. Giving peace to the dead is a worthy quest. Any help we can offer is yours. Sadly, the jaws of Hakon will not offer so warm a welcome. You have met their Thane, Gerd Harrifson. I wager you have crossed blades with the jaws of Hakon in the wilderness. If you would search this place for your Inquisitor's body, they will want you to pay in blood. I'd like to hear more about Stonebearhold. We are not the largest hold, but our warriors are strong, and our singers are pretty. Ah, words are for boasting around the fireside. You should look yourself, if you will. I'd like to know more about the Jaws of Hakon. They are not the first hold to take that name. All have been foolish. What would you know of them? What do the Jaws of Hakon believe that makes them so angry? A wise man honors each god to its strength. Bjorn Reedbeard for fishing, Rilla of the Fire Sun, god of war and winter. There is no evil in Hakon. There are times to fight, but the Jaws of Hakon care for nothing else. They raid, they fight. Eventually they die and their stories are forgotten. It is the way of things. You said that there were earlier groups known as the Jaws of Hakon. Yes. Many ages ago. They thought of nothing but slaughter glory. They attacked the Lowlanders. Your people fought back and destroyed them. They were fools. What can you tell me of the people now calling themselves the Jaws of Hakon? They came here a few years ago, after the Blight took their hold. There was land enough for both, so we were friendly. We did not see their anger. Gerd Harrifson lost too many in his hold to Darkspawn. He thought only of battle and war. To avenge a wrong is a good thing, but only a fool lights the world on fire to do it. I will speak with you later. Fair hunting. Inquisitor. When I first entered your hold, there was a climbing contest of some sort. What was that? The test of the lady. We use it to settle disputes when it is not clear who has the right of it. There are others. For the test of the Mountain Father, you battle with verse while those who favor you hold you aloft. The test of Hakon is battle with blunted weapons. It seems as fair a way as any to decide such matters. In many cases, the law is clear. The tests are only for real disputes. As Thane, I may guide the gods in finding who is worthy. I decide which test will settle the dispute. I may also ask a warrior whose claim is foolish to climb with stones strapped to his back. How did you get the name Sunhair? I was born Svara Janus Dutton. For my legend mark, I once fought a battle with my hair on fire. You lit your hair on fire? An enemy archer lit my hair on fire. I was locked shield to shield with a foe, and I had no time to douse it. It scared my foes. My hair was braided long enough that I could spare it. It stank worse than goat shit, though. I was told I needed your permission to borrow a boat from the fisherman. Bah, Rolfson. He worries like a scared baby goat. The boat is yours. Tell him I said so. The Hakonites are attacking my people. I would welcome any assistance you could offer. Bathing my blade in the blood of the Hakonites would be cause for a feast for most in this hold. The Hakonites are fools, and they have forgotten the old ways. But we have pledged peace with them. To attack with lowlanders at our side would make us oathbreakers. This is poor weather for me to ask that of my hold. I understand your concern. Is there anything I could do to help? 
Among the Avar, a hold draws strength from its hold beast. They are as kin to us. When our hold beast is strong and happy, there is joy. When it sickens and dies, it is an ill omen. Our bear, Storvaker, has not been seen in days. The hold fears for her. I cannot ask the hold to break peace oaths unless Storvaker returns. The way you asked us to help find Storvaker made it sound like you were willing to break your oath. I could say that Avar hold all oaths sacred, that no true Avar would break them. It would be a good lie. Lowlanders doubtless say the same of themselves. A cunning Thane can find a hole in the tent of any promise. A place for the cold wind to sneak in. We are bone and blood. Oaths last until they are broken. If I find your bear and you break the oath, what happens to Stonebearhold? Other holds share oaths with the jaws of Hakon. They are sworn to defend or avenge them. If the Hakonites were friends, they would attack us. But they are friends to few. We will send offerings, trade, and gifts to pay the price of oath-breaking. The storm will pass. I do not do this lightly, Inquisitor. But the Hakonites are tiresome. I'm a little confused about why I have to find a bear in order to gain the support of your tribe. Storvaker is not a bear. She is our hold beast. She ties us to the gods. Without her, we... I have heard your elf gods turn from you. Is that not a bad thing? It is as that. I know more of this world than the world of spirits. Speak with our augur if you would know more. They're our gods, not yours. For you, it is enough that Storvaker matters to us. Does Storvaker usually live in the hold? Does she stay in a pen, or...? <sighs> Pens are for goats and chickens, not hold kin. The Avar are free. So must be our hold beasts. Storvaka lives in a cave near the hold. She comes to visit if she wishes to see us. We bring her gifts of food. Not enough that she will not hunt for herself. Do you have any members of the hold searching for Storvaka? The hold is already fearful. A great hunt for our hold beast would show weakness to the Hakonites. If she were dead, the Augur would know. So the hunters watch for tracks. That is all we can do. Maybe I shouldn't bring this up, but bears and I traditionally do not get along. You were four bears. <laughs> you lived. Good for you. Fear will keep you respectful, should you find Storvaka. You will be fine. So, you're saying she's friendly? Um... I will speak with you later. Ask those in the hold about Storvaka. They may know something they have not told me.
you're the Inquisitor. I hear your people already sing songs of you. How are you so well informed? Oh, Helstim soaks up gossip when he goes trading. He just returned from the lowlands. I'm Fulna Hethstotten, keeper of histories and skull to the hold. I've never met a scold. Is that anything like a bard? I suppose. Every hold has someone who sings its songs. Doesn't yours? Fair enough. We keep the old songs and histories, the oaths and the legend marks. I understood all of that, except legend mark. The scold before me was born Gulda Elstotten. She crafted a great new tale for the hold. It pleased the spirits. After that, we called her Gulda Gildan's Song. So their titles, honorifics? Not all carry glory. My father was Heth Mule's head. <sighs> he never let go of a quarrel. Can you choose a legend mark for yourself? <sighs> only if I wanted to be scorned as a child. I've only been a scold a few years. I've not made any great feats, good or ill. Yet. Farewell. Good journeys. Welcome, Inquisitor. Though I fear I've time for little more than a greeting. I must prepare these souls for their greater journey. Particularly those who depart without the reverence due. Their way is often hardest. I'm not familiar with Avar funerals. May I ask what proper rites entail? When the time comes, we are given sky burials. For most, the body is laid out and prayers given. When the birds come, they carry the soul to the Lady of the Skies. The body, unneeded, is gone. For most? Some souls, such as Calden's, are chosen to return. The Augur reads the signs of birth. It is a rare honor. In order to return, an offering is made to Korth the Mountain Father and buried beneath the body. A piece of the soul thus remains allowing the rest to return to this world and be reborn. Will someone not be given proper rights? Calden Enverson is one of the few whose soul may return. Bloodkin must make an offering to the Huntmaster who prepares it. Or so it should be. Calden's son, Finn, has failed in this duty, but then... there's you. Me? You're a guest of our hold. A gift from you cannot be refused. Even an offering for Golden. I cannot dictate the nature of a gift, but if my suggestion appeals to you, speak to the Huntmaster. I should be off. Lady, keep you.
I have. Augur says it's bad magic. Visitor, I'm honored by your visit. I'm Finn Col um Finn Caldenson. Forgive me if I don't stand to greet you properly. How were you injured? A storm blew up a few months back. It's the worst we've seen in a while. I was helping to secure the fishing boat. Einar nearly fell in. I caught him, but the current caught me. My leg got crushed against the rocks. It hasn't set properly. I know about your father's burial, and the offering. I tried. I dragged myself out of this cursed bed, but the pain... I collapsed. The Huntmaster found me and dragged me back. Said we didn't need another dead man. I'm told I can make the offering as a gift for the hold. I'll try to do so for your father. He won't be my father much longer. What do you mean? Make the offering. When the sky burial's complete, I'll lose the right to bear my father's name. Wait, so he does this or he's the wrong kind of elf? What? Never mind. You help. Whether or not he's my father, I still love him. I would not see his soul severed from the earth if it's meant to return. If you can make a gift of the offering, there's no way I could repay you. I'll let you rest. Lady, keep you. Inquisitor, you've need of a hunter, or you're just wandering. Now you lowlanders see many holes, and I'll tell you, there are none finer. I assume you go hunting yourself. Of course I do. Who says otherwise? No one. I lead our hunts, Inquisitor. My leg aches. One eye can't see in the dark. And I bring more meat than anyone in the hold. Goat's piss, do I hunt? A yes would have been fine. Yeah. Suppose you can't help Lowlander's manners. I spoke to the woman preparing bodies for funeral. She said I might make an offering for Calder. How would. As a gift? Sly woman. In that case, I'll accept an offering from the hand that gives it. Tradition says the offerings made to Koth. Only creatures who touch the gods' realm will do. I'll mark where some were last spotted. It'd be an unmatched gift, Lowlander. I still pity Colden's son, though, losing his father's name. Farewell. Inquisitor? Do you have any idea where Storvacker has gone? Our whole animal's a hungry one. She might be after the game in the valley to the west. As the weather's turning, I'd not think she'd run further. Farewell. Farewell. 